Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. I'm back. I hope Liz hasn't put me out of business just yet, but many thanks to the kiddo for always filling in for me when I do need it. All right, let's get back into the groove and get into the news, shall we? A tragic truck accident yesterday claimed the life of a Glen Burnie man. Shortly before 1 p.m., the Anne Arundel County Police and Fire Departments responded to Route 665 for a crash. A large dump truck had flipped over a barrier and into a ravine and creek about 40 feet below the road surface. The driver did not survive, and the process of recovering the driver and the vehicle is very time-consuming. Both directions of Route 665 were closed from Route 2 through Chinkapin Round Road, and police estimate that the closure possibly can last through this morning's rush hour. I've not heard an update that the road is open just yet, so you want to plan accordingly if you travel that route and anticipate jam traffic in the region until that road is reopened. Back on April 4th, we told you about a shooting at the 7-Eleven in West Annapolis. It turns out that the missing clerk was charged with attempted murder. Surveillance video shows that the clerk was with two others in the parking lot at 3 a.m. when he returned to the store and came back out with a gun and fired at the two men. The two men fled the scene. There were no injuries reported, and the clerk was identified by the store manager as the clerk on duty that night. It was done by video surveillance. Something sounds a little bit off on this to me. We're going to be following this and see if this has any twists and turns down the road. Speaking of the Annapolis Police Department, they are looking for one good man or woman, not to be a cop, but to be a representative on the county's new police accountability board. The city does get one seat. They need to pick somebody by July 1st, so you want to submit an application ASAP. We do have a link at ionanapolis.net. And about that board, Dana Monroe from the Capitol was at the county council meeting last night and tweeted that a guy named Phil Atetto showed up dressed as a piece of crap to let the council know that he thought the police accountability board, well, was a piece of crap. He was escorted from the building. And I'll tell you, you got to love the right to free speech. And here's some trash talk for you. If you live in South County or Annapolis, now this is the county part of Annapolis, not the city part, your trash days may be changing soon. And I'm talking real soon, like as soon as today. We're looking at Annapolis, Churchton, Davidsonville, Deal, Edgewater, Galesville, Harwood, Lothian, Riva, Shadyside, Tracy's Landing, and West River. You want to head to aacounty.org and then surf on over to the Public Works page, and there's a big banner at the top of the page about new trash days. I know Riva moved from Thursday to Tuesday, so you want to check that out. And finally, it is Ticket Tuesday from Ramps Head on Stage. I have a pair of tickets to see Jesse Rubin and Jen Grinnells on the 12th and Eric Hutchinson on the 17th. If you want either of them, and it's a pair for each, send me a DM on Twitter or an email and I might pick you. As always, if you have won recently, let someone else have a shot. We do have some time, so I'm going to pick a winner by Friday morning, we'll say. I'll announce it on Friday morning on the DNB. And make sure you check out all the other great shows coming up at Ramshead at ramsheadonstage.com. Podcast news up this Saturday on the local business spotlight. Julianne and Karen from One You Love Home Care, a brand new business here in town. And next week, Bean Rush Cafe, one of my faves in Crownsville and West Annapolis. Actually, they've got another location and we'll get into that when you hear it on Saturday. Again, keep the suggestions coming and keep letting your friends know about the Daily News Brief. It is so much appreciated. Oh, and yesterday, after a bunch of miscommunications, I was able to really fanboy with one of my favorite artists, Samantha Fish, who will be at the Chesapeake Bay Blues Festival on May 20th and 21st. She is amazing. So you want to look for a bonus pod with her in a day or two. All right, that's it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's Daily News Brief. The Arts Council of Anne Arundel County, who is having their Paint the Town Gala on the 14th. Solar Energy Services and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long-end foster company. So now hang tight. 
We have George from DC MDVA Weather standing by with your locally forecast weather report. All of that is coming up in just a bit. Join the party at the Westin Annapolis on May 14th for the Arts Council of Anne Arundel County's premier fundraising event, Paint the Town. We'll celebrate 29 years of providing leadership and advocacy for our local arts community. You'll enjoy cocktails, dinner, and live entertainment with special guests Cell Spitfire, Christy Allen, Jonathan Stone, Mike Noonan, and the Annapolis Symphony Academy String Quartet, and more. Get your tickets now at www.acaac.org. That's www.acaac.org. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, May 3rd. Yesterday brought a very nice weather day to the Annapolis region, and today will be a good one as well, but then we'll have some changes to deal with all the way through Mother's Day Sunday. Look for mixed skies today with highs in the 70s ahead of a frontal boundary that will bring more showers and possibly some thunderstorms to the region on Wednesday, with the rain threat starting in the very early a.m. hours and lasting through much of the day with warm highs in the mid-70s to lower 80s. Ahead of mixed skies and cooler temps Thursday with highs near 70 degrees before more p.m. showers and possibly some more thunderstorms on Friday as well with highs again near 70 with temps then dropping to only near 60 4 p.m. highs Saturday with more rain expected with only upper 50s or lower 60s then likely for p.m. highs on Sunday with gradually clearing skies for Mother's Day. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, as well as through our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And as always, be sure to download our DCMDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer, about $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today so we can help you maximize your home's value. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. Let's make 2022 the year that you freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IamAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.